Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. And if not, I hope your day gets better. So today is day four of my hollow week. Um, as you can see here, I already glued on my tips. I already did my pull off base coat and all that. And I just figured, you know, I just start off this video with my nail tips on already. Um, I am going to go ahead and trim these down. Originally, I was going to leave them long, but... I wanted to cut them down a little bit so once I do that I am going to go in with my fine grit sanding band and I'm just going to go ahead and remove the shine off the tips also making sure that I blend where I glue on the tip that way you know when I apply the product like you won't see that tip area you know so yeah Once I have filed off the shine from the tips, I am going to go in with some base coat and I'm just going to go ahead and apply base coat to all of my nails again. And then next, I am going to go in with McCart's Poly Gel, and this is a siesta. Um, I felt like this color was like a really good nude, especially because like the type of nail art I'm doing, I feel like this nude kind of gives it like that skin like I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I, yeah, like I feel like it was just the perfect color for this nail art so or for the set but yeah like always i'm working the poly gel from sidewall to sidewall making sure everything is nice and smooth and even um i will say this poly gel for some reason i feel like it's a little bit different from um la coral i don't know why like just the texture is a little bit different but overall like yeah it's my cart so it's pretty easy to work with so yeah i'm just gonna make sure that the tip area is like thicker than you know the cuticle area because i am gonna go ahead and go in with my second bead and this one is mainly focused around you know the cuticle area to create that apex and yeah so i'm pushing the poly gel inwards and then you know from sidewall to sidewall making sure it's even and then like slowly ombre it out that way i get that nice and smooth and even application but yeah like always i am going to let you guys enjoy some of this poly gel application and then i'll come in and chit chat with you guys I really hope you guys have been enjoying this week honestly i have been having so much fun um doing all of these sets this set right here i want i've been wanting to do for like a, a while now but i'm always so intimidating <laughs> or intimidated by um doing new things or like trying something you know different and stuff but yeah i've been wanting to do a freddy Krueger nail set for 
as long as I can remember. So I'm happy that I like finally, you know, said, you know what, I'm gonna do it. Um, <laughs> tomorrow is the last day um, for my posting. And it is also the last day to enter my giveaway. So make sure you guys enter. I am doing two winners. I will be giving out like some free goodies and stuff so yeah make sure you guys go check out that video it's called um it's under fiberglass trying out fiberglass for the first time um yeah make sure you follow the rules on that video and then yeah it's pretty simple i will leave it in the cards right here just in case you guys can't find it you guys could go straight right here but yeah um thank you so much for for watching honestly like i said and like it's been very very fun doing these sets like i don't know i wish i would have done more um i i do have a like two more sets that i that are halloween that i am gonna be posting in november and that's just because like yeah, I was going to do two videos a day, but I felt like that would have just been too much and I would have been burnt out. So, yeah, um, tomorrow I am posting my Jason nails and I'm super excited for that. I'll talk more about that later. <laughs> Once the polychill has been cured, I did remove the tacky layer. Next, I'm going in with my McCart Dust Collector Fine Grit Sanding Band and 100 180 grit nail file. And I'm gonna start filing and shaping these nails.
so now it's time for the nail art and for the nail art on my thumb I am gonna put never sleep again and then after that um, I am gonna be doing like a blood splatter I did mix some red and black together to get like a darker um, color you know to kind of give it more of like a blood kind of color so yeah, that's what I'm doing on my thumb. So next is time for my index finger and my pinky. So this is going to be like the slasher. I already I had already tried doing it. That's why um, it looks like that, uh, you know, like underneath. I didn't get like all the red, but that's okay because it gave it like a little cut effect. So, yeah. But anyways, um, I am going in with the sculpting gel and this is from DTK and I'm just going to like push down to create like those slashes and then I am going in with this red. So at first I mixed some red and then black but then I did not like how that was coming out. So I wiped it off and then I decided, you know what, how about if I mix a little bit more black into that red and you know kind of create like a dark because i wanted it to be darker than the blood splatter because i felt like it, it just would look right so that's what i did i mixed it up and then i applied it onto like where i had this the slash and i kind of made sure that i put a lot in there and then you know kind of let gravity do its thing and then it created that like dark line in there i don't know you'll see what i mean but yeah um looking back now i should have done four instead of three little slices but i don't know i liked how it came out and it was anthony approved so yeah <laughs> tomorrow is halloween and i'm super excited um tomorrow i am gonna be posting two videos just because like one of the videos is like super short and that one's like of me doing my daughter's nails and so yeah i figured i post you know and then my other video is gonna be my jason nails and those are my official halloween nails that i'm gonna wear and i'm just like ooh, like i don't know i'm so excited and nervous because yeah i don't know like i feel like it's so hard doing his face and like all the other stuff i got down it's just his face that i struggle with the most so yeah i don't know i hope it comes out okay and i hope you guys like it and <laughs> yeah
right so for this nail right here what we are doing is we're gonna go ahead and get some green and this is from not polish and then a little bit of um madam glam's perfect black and i'm just gonna make sure i mix it up really really well next i am gonna go in with my 3d brush and i feel using a 3d brush is like way better than using like a like the actual brush i don't know it could just be me but like i feel when i apply gel polish this way it just works better but anyways so i am doing three coats of this green and the reason why is because i just felt like three coats was just the perfect amount next i am mixing a little bit more of the red and black that I have remixed with a little bit more black and then next I am doing his stripes um I know I did him a little bit thick but honestly that is okay I I really liked how it just came out I didn't want to overthink it and you know be too hard on myself so yeah I don't know I just felt like this was the best size I liked it and yeah And then next, I am doing the sign, and this is going to say Elm Street. So again, I'm going in with two coats of this green, and then I am doing the border, like the white border, um, you know, for the... You know, for the street sign and then i am going to be writing elm street in there and then i'm gonna do some like random blood splatter because i just i don't know i felt like it would have looked better like i was gonna leave it plain but then i was like eh, like i don't know it just it was missing something so i added the blood splatter and honestly i felt like it made it even better I was gonna do blood splatter on like his you know like on that green on his like jacket but I didn't I just I don't know I should have now think like looking back but I just I don't know I feel like it looks fine this way as well <laughs> this is how the nails came out i really love how these came out like i don't know i i just i love everything about it my favorite one honestly is this one right here on my thumb the one that says never sleep again i don't know why maybe because of lettering i i'm always scared of doing letters because of how hard it is to do it with the brush but yeah, I don't know. I think overall this set came out really, really well. I really love the 3D effect. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Thanks again for coming to day four with me on this hollow week. Like always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye.